Hello citizens! Welcome back to a comic book review. This time I'm doing Spider-Verse. Uh, I am reviewing this because I picked it up and after watching uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, uh, the Sony cartoon from a couple of years ago, I was like, that was great. That was an amazing film. I really enjoyed it. And I wanted to know more about the other Spider-Man and maybe their origin stories and, you know, how they uh, hop into different dimensions. So I picked this one up. Uh, I've gotten through it now. And it wasn't quite was I, what I was expecting. Um, the story is based around... Uh, the, the protagonist starts off as Dr. Octopus is within Spider-Man's body, one of the Spider-Man bodies, and uh, he's trying to create an army of Spider-Man to fight against these vampires uh, who basically dimension hop and they only feed on Spider-Man from those universes, and so uh, there's... Uh, a family of vampires, they travel around and they eat them because they sustain their life force and they can live Im immortally. Um, although in saying that they can die uh, on a rare occasion, uh, but uh, they're very, very strong. <laughs> um, and constantly you see the Spider-Men just getting their asses kicked constantly. Um, even when they build up, like, a small army of them, they just can't fight against one or, or two of them. Uh, so, the story doesn't really go anywhere in a hurry. Um, usually it's just uh, a whole bunch of Spider-Man find the other Spider-Man, they try to save them before they get eaten by the vampires. They bring them into their Spider-Man army, and then one of the vampires shows up and pretty much kills them all and then they've got to start it again and that happens like three three or four times um so that got a bit tiring um because there wasn't really a lot of progression you you slowly kind of find out more about uh the villains but other than being dimension hopping vampires that use uh spider-man specifically to enhance their uh, longevity, their long life, um, they don't have a lot of other, uh, what's the word for it, goals, I suppose. Um, there's also, like, they're very techno-savvy as well, and they have a clone base um, to, so when one of them dies, they just jump into one of their clone bodies, uh, but other than just killing off all of them, there's not really a lot else to them. So as villains, I felt they were pretty bland and just a bit boring. I was really hoping there'd be something more to them or, you know, they were just evil for evil's sake. Um, the the Spider-Men were interesting. Uh, However, because you see a whole bunch of different ones, like, they obviously just give the artists, you know, just a random concept and create a, a, a robot Cyberman, uh, sorry, not Cyberman, a robot Spider-Man, <laughs> um, and, you know, go with it. So you get a whole bunch of different versions of Spider-Man, which I think are really cool and really interesting from at least an artistic point of view. Uh, but you don't hear any of their backstories other than maybe like uh, two or three lines saying where they're from, which universe, and maybe if they've got a special power or something like that. Um, but, uh, and that kind of let me down um, because I wanted that backstory. I wanted to know who they were, where they came from. Um, you know, there were a couple of Spider-Man from Cores because they joined like some sort of army and I wanted to know well what is this army and why did they join um it was just a bit weird um all of the Spider-Man bicker all the time uh there's a lot of like the banter's all right it's standard Spider-Man banter that you would expect from all of them um 
but I found that they uh, they were just very untrustworthy of each other, so getting them to coordinate and form battle plans together, they just weren't succeeding at that, so whether that's just an inherent problem with Peter Parker, and, you know, he's just not willing to give trust to the other superheroes, I'm not sure, because I don't know that much about Spider-Man. Um, so I found that quite difficult to get past because it was like there's these giant vampires that are going to kill you no matter what you know you need an army one one of you just can't fight against you know the six of them it's just impossible um and time and time again the story keeps showing you that it is impossible for them to fight them one on one um so that frustrated a bit from a character point of view. Uh, what else? The, the art's alright. Um, I really wanted them, because it's all of these different Spider-Man, I was expecting like a two-page spread of them just going into battle and going hard, um, and just a whole bunch of really cool battle scenes. But the artists were very, I don't know, I guess picky. Um, they didn't really show that uh, at all. At most you'd have a one page spread um, of just like one particular scene, um, but it would rarely be about the battle. They'd usually split it up into, you know, the standard comic book columns. And uh, they were just constantly talking the whole time. So you didn't really get to appreciate the art I felt like. There was just too much um, speech bubbles over the art while they were fighting. And I know that's a big part of Spider-Man, that he's witty and he banters and, you know, you've got all these different Spider-Man that are constantly chattering to one another about, you know, heads up, there's a guy over there, or, you know, look out. Uh, but it got distracting quite a bit for me, particularly. Um, yeah, so it was... Look, it, it was an interesting comic. Um, it ends a little bit lamely, <laughs> um, I'll say. One of, one of the vampires turns against the other vampires for some reason or other. It's hard to remember, really. Um, but there wasn't, like, a major impact that this comic book made for me. Um, so a little bit disappointed. But, you know, it was still interesting to see all of the different, like, Gwen Stacy's and different Peter Parker's and... Uh, Otto Octavius and Spider-Man's body, all that. So there are some like bits that are kind of interesting, but um, I wouldn't say it's a memorable comic. Uh, for me personally, I'd probably give it around a 7 out of 10. Uh, so hope that helps and uh, I'll see you next time.